Hi everyone, it's Nicole from the Physio Crew and I wanted to share with you a story because I'm hoping it's going to help you as well. So there's a few weird things that can cause ankle pain. So seeing a chap um, yesterday and he's doing some really high level ankle rehab and I think he was quite surprised when he came in because I think he was um, sort of, as a lot of people do, people expect physio to be sort of a poke and a prod and um, maybe a bit of joint mobilisation, maybe a bit of massage and that stuff is good and we do that but of course we need to take things to a much higher level because if we try and put your tissue back into an environment where it's getting excessive load, it doesn't matter how much massage and poking and prodding we do, if it isn't strong, it isn't strong. So we need to make sure that that tissue is adapted to the load. So that's what we really focus on. This is my attention seeking dogs who whenever I watch the TV or look on my phone, start attacking each other. <laughs> it's not very good. Um, and so with this chat, we were looking at high level rehab and then we also, because his pattern of um, pain is happening after prolonged sitting, so when he sits down and then goes to get up, we have to then start to think, right, is this an inflammatory problem? Is this a bit of arthritis, which is getting stiff and sore? Um, but he's not the right age category. He hasn't really got the right history for arthritis. Um, so it's much more likely that he has um, putting his foot into prolonged postures. So that can be when you're working. So it might be that you have got your foot rested on something. And so you're holding it on a long stretch. If you imagine that you push your finger back, this one here, I'm just holding with the other hand, push it back as far as you can go. It won't mind that for, you know, two, three minutes. But if you do that for half an hour, two hours or three hours, it's going to really start to hurt. And that's because there's lit little sensory receptors in, this, um, in the joint and the um, ligaments and the tissue that say, OK, I don't mind being stretched for a short period, but I don't like it over a long period of time. So it can be a, something as simple as that. It could be that there's something that he's doing when he's driving. So he's moving his foot up and down. So he's irritating the tendons, but he hasn't got any pain on palpation of those tendons. So that's less likely in this case. But the kind of weird things that you want to look out for, are you in a prolonged position for anything? So driving or, you know, resting your foot when you're driving, if you're um, on cruise control, or are you actually doing a repetitive movement that you may not be aware of? So have a little think about those things. If you have ankle pain, make sure you're getting it really, really strong. Make sure you're including proprioceptive exercises. Make sure you're including strength based. Remember with a calf, you want to get soleus and gastroc biases and then um, start moving on to the kind of plyometric stuff. It will be hard, and this is the thing. People think rehab is gonna be easy, and I can promise you, if you want it to be easy, you won't get the results, or you might get a short-term result, but then it comes back really quickly. So aim for the long-term result. Aim always for the long game. It's not about how do we get you to that next race, it's how do we make sure that you're not gonna get injured for the next four, five, six races. I'm never thinking about that short-term gain because that at the end of the day is not what a, um, a client or a patient normally wants. They normally want longevity and for it not to come back, fingers crossed. Well, no fingers crossed, get it strong, and then it won't. <laughs> All right then guys, take care, have a great day, bye.